now on YouTube. Just thought I'd do a uh, quick video on how to adjust the timing chain on my Lada Neva because I'm always getting asked this question. So uh, it seems that while I'm doing it, I might as well do it. I'll just change the engine oil and the uh, the filter. So I'll, I'll do the timing chain as well at the same time. And I do it every uh, 6,000 miles, which is about 10,000 kilometers. And um, people always always forget about doing the timing chains and eventually you get reminded by it, by the, the clatter, the, the chain starts clattering at you and uh, suddenly you start popping your pants thinking you need to adjust it. If you do it when you do the oil service, it's, it's a 15 minute job, it's really no big deal to do the, uh, the timing chain. Um, it's basically, there's a 13 mil bolt, that one there, this one here. You undo that and you just slacken it off, loosen it off and then you climb underneath and the, the crankshaft no, that one there, mine is different. I had to machine a, a, a custom one, seeing as my crankshaft not mysteriously vanished off the face of the earth. Um, so I had to make a, a new one. Uh, if if yours is a, the standard factory one, it'll have the slot for the um, for the the uh, the starting handle. Let's wait for this car. It'll have the slot for the starting handle. If you have a starting handle, it makes this job so much easier because at the moment. Uh, I have to use an adjustable and today I'm using a, uh, a set of pipe pliers to turn that. You turn the, the crank in the uh, the standard direction, which is if you're looking at the front of the engine, it's clockwise. Um, and you turn that two times, uh, two turns, then smack the uh, smack the nut that you've just done un undone up the top with, uh, with a hammer and then uh, tighten it all back up again, basically. And that, that's essentially how what's involved in the, in adjusting a timing chain on a, a ladder engine. So to undo the tensioner, it's a 13 mil, some of them are 14 mil, and then uh, just a, a short extension. Um, reach underneath. Ratchet's going the right way. And that's all it takes. You don't want to undo it too far and have the tensioner come apart on you. And then you climb underneath with your, your spanner or your pipe pliers or your, uh, your starting handle. Turn the engine in the direction that it runs in normally for about two turns. Um, don't let it don't let it uh, go the wrong way because what might happen is it might jump a tooth on your timing and then I mean that's a that's a strip down and and, and strip your timing chain out and everything like that so it's a bit of a ball ache and, and redo the timing and everything so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna climb underneath turn the crankshaft nut two turns and then climb back up so that's two turns on the crankshaft and then you just get a small hammer, or you know, a relatively big hammer if you really wanted, and just uh, I give it a couple of touches. You only need to give it one really, just to give it that shock. And then you tighten this back up, and that's your uh, your timing chain adjusted. It's as simple as that. And there you go, that's your timing chain adjusted. Simple, really easy. Uh, that took me less than five minutes, to be honest. Um, if you have that starting handle, it does make a big difference. So, you know, and you can make a starting handle quite simple as well. So it's, it's well worth having one. Um, and then you can carry it around and if you're ever stranded in the middle of an off-road site and can't start yet because your start motor's knackered, there you go. You've got a starter handle. All right, that's that. Turn there. Speak to you later. Ta-da.